So many types of people, they'll never get along Till I bust out my boot box and play this song The music washed away of the head my name is Matt, welcome back to the shop, and today we're actually talking about, a lot of people sent me this, so this is what they call, um, I'm looking at the data sheet, VINS, so that, it's an Italian company, and they're on about releasing a new two-stroke, and um, you look through all the usual shite, but I want to go through the data sheet. And it says it's a road legal version, it's classed as sport, gives you the dimensions, how much it weighs, they say 95 kilos, they say it's 249 or 250cc, um, petrol, two stroke, two cylinders, so it's a tandem V-twin, um, with a counter rotating crankshaft, liquid cooled, electronic start, electronic ignition, uh, it's going to be an electronic fuel ignition, blah blah blah, gives you the bore on the stroke, so it's 54mm, uh, um, by uh, 54.5 all good um, clutch multi-disc blah 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 now they say that it will have ABS as a carbon fibre monocoque chassis blah 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 and then they say max speed and it says 200 kilometres per hour um, but the weirdest thing that it says, and they say it were, you know, they're ramping up and they're ready for production, ready for release, or they're getting that way. What I don't understand is that it, there's two things that it doesn't give you. So they've got this speed here, and then it says power. They say this thing will pass, that's the other thing, they say it'll pass. It'll pass the Euro 4 emissions, right? But then it says power and it says torque and it says ND which is strange why would you not want to disclose the power and the torque they come out with suspension travel and all these other figures but they don't mention what the power and the torque is so they reckon it can pass Euro 4 which means that they have got a running engine a running prototype or a running engine that's ready for mass production so they have a running engine it's because they know pretty much how fast it's going to go. They know it'll pass Euro 4. So why don't they have torque and power figures? And this is a bit of a weird thing. Because um, it makes me believe that the, surely they must know, right? They're not disclosing it, but why not? I don't understand. They tell you absolutely everything else. Um, you know, literally its weight, its suspension and everything. They have an engine that they claim passes Euro 4, but its power and torque are not there. Which makes me believe either that they haven't finished developing the engine or something like that. Now, if that is the case, if they haven't finished developing the engine, then how do they know that they're going to pass Euro 4? It's, mathematically, it's very hard to calculate if you will pass something theoretically. You have to do the test. To pass Euro 4, you have to do that actual test, not just calculate that we should be able to. You have to actually go and have it submitted and then pass that test. I'm not kicking it in the tits, I'm just saying that there's examples of it at motor shows and stuff like that. But if they're saying they're right close to um, mass production or whatever, surely they've done a couple of mass production runs, so why can't they work out the max power and the max torque. It just seems a bit of a funny thing to me. Anyway, I just thought I'd mention that. It's snazzy things like, like I say, carbon fibre, this and the other. They reckon it's road legal. Well, we'll just have to wait and see because when you look through it, the main article originally was from like 2014. It's now 2018 and still nothing's happened. Um, I believe nothing's happened because they literally you have to try and pass this, which for two strokes is just incredibly hard. Even with fuel injection, fuel injection basically means that you're not pissing as much um, fuel out of your exhaust pipe, so unburnt hydrocarbons, uh, because you can time it so the exhaust pot closes and then you inject fuel. Um, so it's kind of like a direct injection isk esque thing ish. Um, but that doesn't stop this lot, you know, your total loss oil system. Um, you have to lean back that oil like crazy because oil is one of the other things because that is a hydrocarbon that is not even when it is being burnt um, the uh, emissions levels that come off burning oil you know if you have a car that is 
um, you know, you've got a lot of piston blow by or something like that, and there is a lot of oil, or you've got an oil leak, you will fail your emissions testing because as soon as they test it, it's high in hydrocarbons, particulate matter, soot, and all the rest of it. And your carbon oxide and carbon dioxide levels go up and generally end up failing it. So it's a bit of a mystery, is this one, because like I say, they seem to be dragging their feet with it or something. I think that basically what they've done is, is they've designed and built this engine, all seems good. They claim it either maybe a prototype past Euro 4 or something like that, but trying to get mass production motorcycles past this emissions testing is a fucking hard thing to do for two strokes. Hope that makes sense. We'll go into this more if I hear more and stuff like that. Or maybe you guys have known an article that came out a couple of months or something. Please forward it to me so we can go into this a bit more. Um, but anyway, hope that makes sense and I'll see you in a bit.